It is time for a what sold video. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Get ready for some big money bolos. Let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. I am super excited about this featured members video. Um, this one is one eBay store. And the reason I'm so excited is it is a rescue farm for animals. And we are going to talk about this. But uh, Cindy recently became a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I was looking into her store and it's a nonprofit. And I was just kind of digging around and I was completely intrigued by it. And I want to share it with you guys. Just such an amazing cause. Uh, let me just pull this up for you here real quick. And I will show you her store, but I want to show you what she's doing. It's just fantastic. So if you go to the eBay store, which let me make sure, did I pull that up? Okay. If you go to the eBay store, I'll have it linked down in the description. It tells you all about it, but they have, it says 500 animals located in Missouri. Hi everyone. My name is Cindy. I'm the owner of the Wear Pig Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We are a farm animal rescue. I started the rescue about six years ago and God told me this is what I was going to do. I've got the full story on our website. You can check it out there. Anyway, we now have about 300 rescued animals here. You'll find just about every type of poultry and livestock uh, here. We also have domestic birds, rabbits, and guinea pigs. Not all of them are from abusive homes. Some of them are here simply because they're handicapped, old, and retired. Their owners couldn't take care of them any longer. Some of them are here as a result of their owners passing away or the owners having a divorce, no longer being able to keep their farms. Everyone has a story. Now, although we are ran strictly by volunteers, we still have plenty of overhead in our vet bills, feed bills, all that wonderful fun stuff. Our biggest source of revenue is being open to the public Friday through Sunday. We are also open during the week for field trips. Our Airbnb and our resale shop are also great sources of revenue. This past May, we actually started selling on eBay and absolutely love it. It's generated some great revenue for the farm and we've met some great new people like Courtney. We're also working on building up our YouTube hours so that way we can hopefully generate some revenue that way also. Proceeds from our store go to support the animals' medical, housing, and food needs. We also have America's only pig museum and offer overnight stays at the farm. Families from all over the world have visited and stayed with us. It's an experience you'll never forget. So um, it says, we greatly appreciate the support you give us through purchasing from our store. So the proceeds go to help the farm. So if you check out the store and you see something that you would like to purchase, just know that it is going to an amazing cause. 3,600 items. So if you guys want to support this cause, you can definitely go down to the description and check out the link. But here are some of their newly listed items. It looks like they got a bunch of things up for auction. So 3,600 items. Go take a browse. And also some exciting news. And we're going to get to the big money bolos. Just wait. You're going to learn a ton from her. Um, I'm guessing she has some help on eBay because there's no way she manages a whole farm, eBay, and a YouTube channel. But most of the content on the channel was about the farm. But um, she has recently starting, started doing what sold videos. And they are awesome. So let me show you real quick here. Let me go in here. I want to show you the beginning. This is so cute. And we sell things on eBay to help pay for the animals. And in our videos, we go through what our sales were. We will kind of highlight the uh, ah, largest sales. Love it. And then we'll skip to the uh, smaller sales uh, pretty quick. All right. There is a sneak peek of the YouTube channel. Definitely, definitely go show them some love with a sub. They are at 1,430 subscribers, which is fantastic. And just started doing the eBay content. So definitely uh, go show them some love there. All right. Are you guys ready to see some big money bolos? I'm telling you some awesome stuff here. 
So I have my little notes on my phone and we are going to start for the with the first one here. It is a vintage car under dash 45 record player, not tested and letter came with it. This sold on auction for $330 plus shipping. Purchased for $3 at a live auction and sold um, and sold for the $330 as shown. The next item is an antique pump organ. Bill Horn Brothers world famous portable folding pump organ from the early 1900s. Purchased for $10 at a live auction. Sold for $280.59 plus shipping, and that was an eBay auction. The next item is this amazing clock, a rare vintage bronze, maybe, question mark, mantle clock, child water bucket, Hamilton, San Gamo. Uh, wow, $249, two bids on that one. Fancy, fancy there, right? Got it from a friend. It was donated by a friend, and it sold for the $249 plus shipping. So I'm guessing they probably get a lot of donations because I, I want to say she said they have like a little store that they sell stuff also from, but they have 3,600 items listed. That is awesome. Olympus Pearl Quarter, voice activated micro cassette recorder. Got this in a box lot at a live auction, less than a dollar and took a best offer of $180 on that. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Larry Mahan Vintage Ostrich Boots, Cowboy Boots. Uh, let's see, donated by a friend, sold for full asking price of $130. That is not a brand I've heard of, so definitely be on the lookout there. Okay, this Coke bottle, Coca-Cola Coke Aluminum Bottle from 2009. And... Oh, look at that. That's so cute. So smart, clever. And they sold this for $80, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. This Monster Truck Poster Magazine from 1988. Uh, let's see here. Show you some of the pictures. Picked up free when helping with a live auction cleanup. Took a best offer of $70 on that. Would you have guessed? I would have probably walked right past that. The next item is this trumpet. Vintage Besson Stratford made in England trumpet with original case. I think I purchased it for 15 or 20 at a live auction. Took a best offer of 70. I love it that like they have an eBay store. They're now doing YouTube. They've got this farm that they take care of. They help all these animals. I mean, talk about busy. Wide awake doll. Side glance eyes, 1914 all bisque handmade clothes. Purchased in a box lot at a live auction, so less than a dollar, and took a best offer of 80. So she knows what she's looking for. So definitely, definitely check out their channel. The next item is this uh, vintage two gallon crock, the Western Pottery Company, Denver, Colorado. And this is a personal item I had for probably 20 years and took a best offer of $60. The framed butterflies. I actually talked about this one in my recent featured members video. She said, um, not sure, sure where we got this. Probably an auction box lot, possibly donated. Had been sitting in our resale shop since May with a $3 price tag. I threw it up on eBay as an auction and it brought $86 plus shipping. So they do have a resale shop on the farm. I think she said they have um, a bed and breakfast also. And then the kids can come in like, like a petting area. So I don't know if they do camps or what. Um, I'm just learning about this, but it sounds amazing. The next item is this vintage retro handy hot electric washing machine. Uh, I purchased it for $5 at a live auction, took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. Overland Outfitters Men's Leather Out Shell Overcoat, size small. Purchased for $4 from a resale shop, sold for $75 within hours of listing, and the buyer paid shipping. So here is the tag. And there's a nice shot of the big button. Very cool. Great, great photos. It's 
showing exactly, you know, the details, the fine details. German beer stein, 95% pewter lid, Austria Imperial coat of arms. Um, let's see. Purchased at a resale shop for $10 and sold it for $60. So it's an old beer stein. And I feel like those are hit and miss. Like some of them can go for big money and some of them are bread and butter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you have picked this up or would you have walked past it? I know a lot of you would probably be scared to bring it in your house. Um, creepy dolls don't really creep me out, but I know some people are terrified of like dolls and clowns and stuff like that. Anyhow, she got these picked up free when helping with a live auction cleanup. Took a best offer of $54 buyer paid shipping. The next item, I mean, just cool items. Don't I, I just think their store is amazing. Uh, rare vintage Sears and Roebuck ice cream maker. Uh, purchased it for $3 at a live auction and sold it for $40 plus shipping. So they do um, eBay auctions, but there's a lot of buy it nows also. I'm not sure what this is. It's some sort of motor, Balder Cat Industrial Motor. <laughs> no clue, but for those of you watching that do know, you know. <laughs> Purchased in a box lot at a live auction, less than a dollar, and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. Here's another doll. A vintage 1961 Idell Chrissy doll, or Kissy doll. Is it Kissy or Chrissy? I don't know. Let's see. Does it say on her back? It does not. Let's see. It says Kissy doll here, too. So, um, picked up free when helping with a live auction cleanup, sold for $50. The next item is this Miami Carry door chime and purchased in a box lot at a live auction less than a dollar and sold for 45 plus shipping. Man, wherever they're going for their auctions, they are doing well picking stuff up for a good price. This hat, I love this. Vintage handcrafted straw hat, sombrero wide brim unisex. Got this at a live auction with some other sombreros, maybe $2 in it, and sold for a best offer of $32 plus shipping. I would say that I would not want to ship that thing. It looks massive. Yep, that's what I would do. Put a ruler over it. Show them how big it is. Otherwise, they're going to be like, would this fit my head? I don't know if it'll fit your head. Vintage industrial machine age steel. Lot of 10 gears, cogs, and parts. Uh, purchased at a live auction in the bottom of a five-gallon bucket of tools, maybe a dollar into them, and sold for $44.78 plus shipping. I would have saw those and been like, what on earth? I I'm guessing maybe Google Lens would have picked that up. Maybe. Just maybe. The next item that sold are pencils. I had to grab this one because pencils have been, people have been talking about pencils in my Facebook group. They can definitely be a bolo. Um, actually got junk in our trunk YouTube channel, just sold like a massive lot of pencils for big money, um, on eBay. So that was featured in one of my videos. I do believe, I think it's in the upcoming video purchased at a live auction in a box lot, maybe a dollar into them and sold for a best offer of $30 vintage Eagle Murado Kimmy sealed 174 medium soft pencil number two. <laughs> Fancy, fancy. And the last item is this vintage corn popper, long metal and green wooden handle with wire mesh basket. I just thought this one was cool. It's not a big money, but it's kind of like, I feel like you might see it, you know, and walk past it. Purchased at a live auction for $3 and sold for a best offer of 22 plus shipping. So let's go over here and snoop their store a little more. It looks like they've got a whole bunch of DVDs. Lots of cool stuff. A little bit of everything. We've got some mugs. I wonder how much help they have doing the eBay store because you guys, eBay is a lot of work to have 3,600 listings, but I imagine running that farm is really, really expensive. Did you see that cute little, is it an emu? Is that what she called it? Oh my goodness. That thing was cute. And when it looked her right in the face, oh, that was adorable. So just lots of really cool vintage items here. Let's search highest first 
Do you guys like to do that? I love to see the Bolo items. Highest for sure. All right, let's look at the big money stuff they have listed. How fun is this? You've got a saddle, which makes sense. Missouri, they're on a farm. Some Justin boots. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Some more creepy dolls. I don't think they're creepy, but people think they're creepy. So let me know in the comments, do you think dolls are creepy? Yes or no? Some old, uh, looks like a vinyl record. Lots and lots of cool stuff. So I'm going to let you guys go down to the comments and check out their store. Little monkey. And I'm going to scroll and check it out because they've got lots of cool stuff to look at. Where Pigs Fly Farm. And again, that's linked down below. So if you guys can show them some support by subscribing to their YouTube channel, if you want to make a purchase, that is awesome. Please don't feel any pressure. But if you want to support the cause, that link is down below. Looks like they've got plenty to choose from. Um, but just subscribing to their channel and watching and helping them grow, spread the word, share the videos. That is just going to help them so much. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.